All right, y'all. So today is kind of the same as before, but a little bit of different things happening. Um, first off, a little, a couple meal changes. Um, I no longer have a bagel in my breakfast anymore, and that's the only thing that's changed so far since being sick. I don't think my meals have changed in like three weeks. So I've been consistently getting leaner from the check-ins but my weight hasn't really fluctuated and my food hasn't really fluctuated. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's kind of what's been going on. That counts. <laughs> there you go. It's twitching back and forth between 50 and 49. It's alright. We couldn't anyway. I know people that six weeks out right now that still eat fucking bagels and oats and shit. And then they're eating. <laughs> These struggle ass breakfasts, bro. So you know this shit going bad. It was fine at first. Now this shit is sticking. I was gonna start putting the rice cakes and shit with the uh, breakfast. Mm -hmm. He was like, no. Like, okay. So now you're gonna suffer. Got it. But if I go to the gym right now, what he gonna say? Nothing. Gotta eat the pre-workout meal. I can eat. Okay, you combine both. That's a cheat code. You get the little strawberries, make you feel like you're eating more. We have them two like fat strawberries and chili. 100 grams and two pieces. Except the one that told me it's gonna take eight weeks. Eight I'm not doing that. Eight weeks is crazy. Today we're actually preparing to go to New York for Live New York, which is happening this week and this weekend. So this video, like I'll kinda wanna show y'all how I prepare to travel like that, because when you go in places, especially somewhere where you're not gonna have uh, a stove to cook all the meals you want like we had in LA you kind of got to do things differently and if y'all remember back when I traveled to the UK last year I prepped all my food the night before put it in a bag and then we flew out there in like a like a cold bag or whatever and then when I got to the hotel put it in the fridge and everything and that's kind of what I plan to do this time so I want to show y'all that entire process I got to buy a bunch of food again I'll probably end up going to the grocery store just because so I can know how much I'm getting them things because sometimes on Instacart, you be putting in the weights and then like you end up not getting what you ordered. So probably end up going to the grocery store again and getting a bunch of stuff. Uh, did my check-in and stuff this morning. So I'm waiting to get updates on there too. So whenever I get those, I'll share that with y'all. But we got chess today, so that should be fun. Right now it's 11.15. So I'm probably gonna do some client work right now and then pass a little bit of time until it's time to eat again or it's time to go to the gym I'm trying to decide if i'm gonna pass some time or if i'm gonna just go and i also got a couple calls to make just because I'm trying to figure out what to do with my car and everything so we're gonna be going for this week and y'all know we got some things planned so with that being said if i do a little bit of work and then i'll tap in with y'all when we figure out what the next course of action is but today today's feeling good like today's feeling 
feeling good. I read scripture yesterday that basically said like the condition that your body is in right now is the condition that God expects or needs your body to be in. And ever since that, I haven't been stressing about where I'm like at prep wise. And I've kind of just been allowing like each day to go by as long as I'm sticking to my macros, doing everything I'm supposed to do. And then just trusting that I'm going to get to where I need to get to when I need to get there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, with that being said, I'm about to do a little bit of work right now and I'm tapping with y'all when it's time to figure out what we're doing next. All right, so I figured right now would be the perfect time to tell you about today's video sponsor, Ritual. Being on prep, you gotta stay on top of your macronutrients as well as your micronutrients. So that's why having a multivitamin you can implement into your daily routine is essential. Ritual Essential for Men 18 Plus is a clinically backed, clean and high quality multivitamin for men to help fill in the key nutrient gaps in the diet. Being on prep, I have multiple different vitamins I have to take daily, so Ritual fits right into my morning routine. I take two delayed release caps daily which are gentle on my stomach so I can take them with or without food. I've also been using their Symbiotic Plus which is a 3-in-1 prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic. Symbiotic Plus is designed with two clinically studied strains of probiotics to help with digestive comforts like bloating and gas and support healthy regularity. Since I eat so much on a daily basis, Symbiotic Plus has allowed me to have a consistent bathroom schedule and I've been feeling less bloated since I've been taking it. A lot of people complain about bloating just to daily disturbances of life like poor diet, stress, and travel. That's why it's important to take a supplement like Symbiotic Plus plus daily. Both of these products are subscription based so you'll never run out. So if you're looking to add these into your daily routine, hit the link in the description or head over to ritual.com and use code SWOLRICK25 to save 25% off your first month. And thank you to Ritual for sponsoring a portion of this video. We just made it to the gym. Today, we doing chest and shoulders, but it's kind of just on like a get in and get out type of vibe because we got so much more to go on today. I'm not even in the mood to be on some like content recording stuff. So that's why I'm kind of like just ready to knock it out. You know what I mean? So that's the plan we got today. I'm waiting on my updates from Cuz now. They should be coming in while we working out. So once those come in, I'll show y'all what's new to the plan this week. And then hopefully, he don't up my cardio, but it seemed like he gonna up my cardio this week, and I hope, I'm hoping he don't. But with that being said, it's 3.13, I'm trying to get out of here before 5.30, or be done with the workout by five, at least, before we do cardio. So we can be home around six, so let's get into it. So just went through the plan, and slight updates. Morning walk got increased to 40 minutes. So that right there, it's probably the biggest change, other than like a few grams of rice coming out each day. My high day is gone now. So normally I would have a high day on all of my leg days. Now there's only normal and rest days. So 100 grams of rice taken out of each of those and about 100 grams more taken out of my high days. So probably a decrease in like 200 grams of rice total. So he said we've been maintaining like these past two weeks in terms of weight wise this week, we're gonna actually try to drop weight. So that's kind of the plan right now. Nothing changed with like post-workout cardio, which I'm happy about because the 35 minutes has been like good but the 40 minutes in the morning that's gonna be the hardest part especially now that we're going to new york having to do 40 minutes of cardio tomorrow before we get on the plane 40 minutes of cardio before all the events that we got going on in new york that's probably gonna be the hardest part but i'm just glad we ain't graduated to the stair master yet he said we ain't been doing that much cardio we really have not like lowered food a lot but the fact that we ain't got to do the stair master that's a that's a win in my book so all right now we get into the workout Already. I don't want the walk, baby, I just want the fatty Pull up to the socks, homie, this ain't Perry Ellie Let me get the raw, I'm a ball like spaghetti It's getting hot in here, the block be hot, no not Nelly You can keep the raw, I'd rather have a Chevy I don't want no head, lately I've been getting Becky I just want the bread, keep the peanut butter jelly She walked up to me, I was by the bar She like, hello, she rolled up on me yeah, Shit got heavy quick On the control Probably if I'm breaking down the elbow I'm always smoking loud, I can't keep it on the L.O. Girl, I don't like the way your booty flaw is like cello And now I'm rocking Robin James, remember when Echo 
She say she just came to chill a bitch, this ain't a getty. I told that bitch, get out of here, act like you never met me. I'm up the road, I'm lurking for them bulls, no library. The nigga state the state, I get more K than the Debbie. No, I can't save a hoe, I'm a neighborhood hero. Keep that shit 1K, I can't be fucking with a zero. My name is Kodak, but you know that already. My name is Kodak. I don't want the walk, baby, I just want the fatty. Boy, you know Pull that. to the socks, homie, this ain't Perry Yelly. Perry Let me get the raw, I'm a ball like spaghetti. Like spaghetti. It's getting hot in here, the block be hot, no, not Nelly. No, not Nelly. You can keep the raw, I'd rather have a Chevy. A I don't want no head lately, I've been getting Becky. Becky. I just want the bread, keep the peanut butter jelly Boy, I need that green, buy my green, no asparagus Lord, forgive me, please, cause the money, I just cherished it Hit a minute, I took that money and I buried it This shit I like to hear, bro, the plan's legit Get started today with some off the clock Everything looks good, I'm ready to work I definitely will, looks good to me, let's get to it I'll be waiting on it, I'm ready to work We'll do when I get home, bro, this is what I'm saying, like I want people on my team that's ready to work. Don't sign up for my coaching if you're not ready to work. I'm not babysitting nobody. I'm not hand-holding nobody. I want people on my team that's ready to put the work in. I say this shit all the time. All y'all do not have the discipline to get to where y'all want to get to. And if you don't have the discipline already, allow me to teach you the discipline, but you got to be open to learning and open to work. Everybody I got on my team is ready to put the work in, not trying to get sugar-coated nothing. And they want me to be straight up with them because that's what it takes to get to where you want to get to. You don't want nobody to hold your hand through the whole process Baby, you let you cheat on your diet, cheat on your workouts, make up excuses. No, bro, there's no excuse when it comes to this shit. Every single day, you gotta get in, you gotta put the work in. That's the type of people I got on my team. So if you're ready to work, train with swole.com. That's all I'm saying, bro. Only if you're ready to work. If you're not ready to work, don't type in the link, bro. Don't type in the link, or I'm not even gonna accept you. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she get on her knees, on G, that's embarrassing. I don't need no record deal, but you gonna have my record still. Me and DJ on the pill, we spend it that's the nigga. All right, y'all, so made it back home and everything, and now it's time to do our meal prep. I told y'all we're going to New York for a lift in New York coming up this week, but that doesn't mean we get to stop our meal plan or anything else that we have going on. So basically, this is the bag that I have, right? This is the bag that I took to the UK last year, and it's kind of just like a cold food prep bag. And what it does is just keeps your food cold ish like i'm not too concerned with my food dropping in temperature i'm not too concerned with my food not being fully cold with an ice pack and all this stuff because once it's cooked and it's in its container and i take it out of the fridge in the morning i'm not worried about the temperature dropping or anything like that so when i get to the hotel i'm just gonna throw it right back in the fridge everything's gonna be fine but to transport it i'm gonna show y'all exactly what i do so i got these big tubs right here just because the last time I took them in really small containers, I bought these Texas size HEB containers. As y'all can see, this gonna fit a lot. This should fit a week's worth for sure. I got tilapia, I got um, beef, I got chicken, I got broccoli, and I'm about to make rice too. So those are the five things that I'm gonna be taking. And I got five containers exactly for that. As y'all can see, I got two more right here. And I got another one just in case so boom all the containers that we gonna need right there so the plan is right now to cook all of this food i'm gonna take y'all through the process of what i do to cook all this food right here and i'm gonna show y'all just the meal prep in general because like i said because we traveling doesn't mean we got to stop what we got going on last year i was the type of person that when we was traveling my whole mindset was oh adrian i ain't got that's my first time saying adrian that's crazy because I ain't got this, I ain't got that. What can I substitute with? Can I go to Chick-fil-A and get grilled chicken? Can I go to Chipotle and get a sand, or like, you know what I'm saying, get rice and chicken? Can I do this? Like this time, we not doing that, we not doing that. We making sure that we stay on track with everything that we've been doing, right? I'm making sure that 
the same consistency, consistency I've been holding myself to while I've been at home, I'm gonna hold myself to that same consistency while I'm in New York. Like I told y'all, no matter what we got going on, we're gonna keep our standard high. And with that being said, I got all this food right here, I got all my containers right here, and I got my bag right here, and we're gonna meal prep this food. So let's get into it. All right, so I figured we start with the fish. That's probably gonna be the easiest. I could just season it, put it in the oven, and then go about the rest of the food. Actually, I think we're gonna start with the rice. Cause we're gonna throw this in the rice cooker and we're just gonna let that sit. Now that we got the fish prepped and ready to go, it's time to go in with the seasons. But y'all pay attention cause this is gonna be quick. So first thing I do is I spray avocado oil on top of the fish to make sure that all of my seasonings stick when I'm putting them on there. Boom, now we got our base, slap your mama. This shit goes on everything. And remember, season to your liking. If it's too much, don't put as much. This is how I like my food, okay? All right, so instead of onion powder and garlic powder, today I'm trying this garlic and herb dash seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of this on top too. I like my food spicy, so you know we gotta hit it with that cayenne pepper. Then to finish it off, we going in with that smoked paprika to make sure that our fish not light skin when it's done cooking. Now all we gonna do is turn it over and do the same thing to the back. I already preheat the oven to 380, so I'm about to take these and go straight in. All right, so for the chicken, I'm about to try out this dry jerk blend. So I got all my seasonings right here. I'm about to prep the chicken, and we're going to season this up. If you're not washing your chicken, I really don't know what to tell you. Real ones know that I have not eaten chicken since my last prep. I ate chicken so much, I got so tired of chicken that I literally told cuz I'm not eating it this prep. That's the reason I've been eating so much fish and some fish. So much fish and so much tilapia because chicken and me are not friends right now. But that's why I'm trying out a little different recipe so I can try to make myself like chicken again. Because I ain't gonna lie, the fish getting a little played out. Not gonna cap. So I figured if I like this recipe I'm about to make with the chicken, we can start implementing that into the meal plan a little bit more so I don't have to eat tilapia literally twice, three times a day almost. We can intertwine some chicken, some beef, some, some tilapia and make it run like that. So we're gonna go dry seasoning first and we're gonna start with this dry jerk seasoning from Grace. I only did one pack of chicken so we're not gonna go too crazy on the seasonings cause we got a lot. They had no scotch bonnet pepper at the store but we got this scotch bonnet pepper powder so that's gonna have to do. Be very careful with this though if you don't like your food spicy because this right here gonna set your tongue on fire. Then from there, we're going to go with the Twins onion powder and garlic powder. And this is secret right here. We're going to take a few little seeds from this allspice. I'm going to crush it up with the bottom of this container. You really don't need much here, so don't go too crazy. I'm not going to use no browning or anything like that because browning is literally just burnt sugar and we can't have sugar while we're on prep. So now we're going to go in with our wet seasonings. And the first one, we got this hot and spicy jerk seasoning from Walker's Wood. Now you can use as much of this as you want. We did put the dry one in there already, so you really don't need to go too crazy. So I'll probably only do like two spoonfuls. It does say that it has brown sugar in here, but it's less than five calories, so we're good. Then to finish it off, we're going in with some G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup. And y'all know me and G. Hughes are not really the best of friends. And you would normally use regular ketchup for this, but you know, it's sugar-free. We on prep. We got to do what it do. This is how everything is looking before we mix it up. Now we get to mix it, and don't be afraid to go in with your hands. I can already tell this about to hit. Why not just do that? <laughs> then we're gonna go in with a little bit of chicken bouillon. Just, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little, just a little razzle dazzle. It's not gonna come out as dark as normal because we ain't put no browning in there, so don't be afraid or don't be scared of the color. And this is what my chicken looks like after I season it. Now, in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get the beef started too because that is honestly the easiest one after the fish because we're just gonna throw that into the pan right here and then cook that at the same time the chicken is going. So this one should be pretty simple too. And I'm literally using the same season that I put on the fish on the beef, so pretty simple. Oh shit. And just like that, I got everything all prepped and ready to go. So let me show you the finished product of all the food that we cooked today. So we got the ground beef, we got the fish, we got the new rice, and we got the old rice right here. And y'all can see we finished the jerk chicken as well. So, to be honest, this is low key how I think I may end up wanting to prep, like just here moving forward, because like this ended up being a lot easier than I expected it to be, just cooking in bulk, especially when you get things going at the same time. And you got the recipes in your head already. Granted, I was trying something new and I was recording, so it took a little bit longer than normal, but I'm thinking 
if I prep like this and I end up having food that I can literally use for the entire week, it may make things easier because normally right now I have to cook and then I have to cook again throughout the middle of the week because I didn't prep enough because normally I would prep like half of this, you know what I'm saying? But I think if I start doing it like this now, I'll probably have food for the entire week and it'll probably last me a little bit longer. So as I was experimenting with this, this might be what I do from here on out. But with that being said, it's like midnight already. Literally like midnight already. So that means I still have to pack. I still got to put these things up and I still got to get everything prepared to leave and head to New York. But I did want to just show y'all this real quick so y'all can have some insight into what it looks like for me to prep and take everything to New York. So like I said, all of these containers right here are going to go into the little food prep bag right here. Boom. Just like that. I'm going to throw them in the fridge for right now. But everything's going to go into the little food prep bag and then I'm going to store it. And that's how we're going to take it to New York with us. Take it as a carry on. Everybody was thinking like food gets stopped at TSA. No, it doesn't. Food does not get stopped at TSA, bro. As long as it's not liquid and you have like, it, 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 and you let them take it out and look at it, bro, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Don't think you can't take no food through TSA. But y'all, with that being said, hope y'all enjoyed this last part of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed the prep series of the day. I hope y'all just been enjoying the series so far, man. We five weeks out from the warm up show, 10 weeks out from the second show, the one that really matters, that pro card show. And yeah, time is ticking, but day by day, brick by brick, we making this happen. We getting shit done. So y'all, if y'all coming to Lift New York, can't wait to see y'all there. But with that being said, man, see y'all in the next one. What the fuck is that? Yo! Ah. Go ahead. So I got prep friendly jerk chicken. It's not too spicy. I didn't put that much spice on there, so you're gonna be good, I promise. But spice to you is different from spice. I understand. Just try it. Okay? I said you're gonna be good. Okay. It smells good. Thoughts? Huh? <laughs> you heard me. No, what'd you say? I said it's actually really good. Okay. It's like perfect spice. I told you I didn't make it too spicy. Obviously, you can't have barbecue sauce on it, but if you added just a hint of barbecue, like jerk barbecue chicken, and it tastes like you grilled it. Wow. What? I know you didn't. Chef's whore. Tastes like you grilled it. 8.3 on the jerk chicken. Mm, especially for it being right. macro prep friendly. Yeah, that's high. I'm telling y'all, bro. If I was Maybe able like to put my foot in it for real, that'd be a 10 out of 10.